Section 1. Spinal Column This is the spinal column. It is also known in Latin terms as columna vertebralis. As one can see, the spinal column is composed of multiple bones that are individually termed vertebrae and at its distal end it shows the sacrum and the coccyx. Both sacrum and coccyx are made of vertebrae that in the meantime have ossified and fused together to form more solid bones such as the sacrum and much smaller coccyx or the tailbone. There are 24 mobile vertebrae altogether in an average spine. Seven of them are known as the cervical vertebrae. There is a group of 12 thoracic vertebrae and finally followed by a group of 5 lumbar vertebrae. The spine does not show itself as straightforward assembly of bones. Instead, it demonstrates four distinct curvatures that are a consequence of our fetal and later our upright position. Those curvatures are named as the cervical lordosis, followed by thoracic kyphosis. Then it comes lumbar lordosis, and finally, sacrum and coccyx form the sacrococcygeal kyphosis. In lumbar and cervical segments of the spine, lordosis as a curvature is defined as being concave in a posterior direction, whereas in the thorax and sacrococcygeal region, the term kyphosis is defined as the curvature of the spine with a concave part facing forward.